and who's getting what from the government. The other issue is you've got these entitlement programs that aren't like means tested things. It's not you know a social safety net in the sense of you've fallen on hard times and, and you need some help. The other big issue is in programs like Social Security and Medicare, how are we going to make those programs solvent? Right now, the Urban Institute did a study where the a, a two-income household making about an average income, if they retired eight years from now, they're going to wind up getting back about three times as much in Medicare benefits as they would have paid in over their lifetime. Now, people don't feel like they're takers because every right. time you get that pay stub, you're getting that FICA taken out. You're saying, right. I'm paying for this. But in the long run, the math works out so that it's unsustainable because more is getting taken out than and, and here, listen to this about disability, people who take disability or are on disability. In uh, 1968, uh, it was 51 to 1, people on disability, to people who worked. Uh, in 2001, not that long ago, it was 23 to 1. Now it's 13 to 1. 13 people to one who are on disability. Now, of course, you know, some of that is real. We are an overworked, overstressed, polluted, ripped off and lied to people. So, I mean, obviously there are some people who really do have disability. But 13 to one, uh, you know, it just seems like we there's less people pulling the wagon and more people in the wagon. And at one point, some point, the wagon is going to break. Michael Barone wrote a book uh, a few years ago called Hard America, Soft America, which addresses this very Ooh, thing. So that if you have start having too many government programs, your society gets soft and, and, and you can't sustain yourself. If you have a too hard of America, sounds like an ad for Seattle, everyone, it? <laughs> everyone is left left to their own, and there's no social safety net to take care of them. These are big policy discussions that Senator Tester and and Congress is going to have to weigh, particularly as we start looking at how much government can we afford, and how can we make programs better so those who need it get it. But as you say, we're not letting a lot of people sit on the wagon. Well, how, how do we do that? That's a great